Welcome to this auto text tutorial for Phrase Express. And here we have created a sample phrase and I enter the auto text AUTO as an example. And we have several options, for instance, execute immediately. Which means if I enter AUTO, the phrase will be immediately expanded. The advantage is that you don't need to type in any extra key to execute a phrase, but of course you won't be able to type in words like automobile anymore. So we have several other options, for instance, execute after default delimiter. Okay, if I enter the auto text auto now, Phrase Express informs me in the lower right of the test tray that I now have to press any of the default trailing delimiters, for instance, space, enter, tap, or any punctuation mark. And now if I enter the punctuation mark, you see that the phrase will be executed. As the phrase itself already contains a punctuation mark, you see two dots here, and we will show you later how to cope with that. Okay, now to the third option, which is execute after menu confirmation. And this leaves you the choice. If you enter the auto text, Phrase Express will pop up a menu where you can decide either to ignore this text replacement or if you press the confirmation key, the phrase will be executed. If you type but ignore the pop up, then it will automatically hide itself after a few characters. If you right click this entry, you can change the confirmation key in the settings. And if you switch to behavior, you can define how many characters you type until the pop-up menu disappears automatically. Okay, these are the three easy mode auto text options. And now let's switch to expert options. And this will show you many more options for auto text. You can now precisely define which characters has to be right before the auto text and after the auto text. And so you could, for example, Define that you have to press enter, then the auto text, and then any of the letters A to Z to trigger the phrase, which is quite special. But there are scenarios where this uh, could make sense. Okay, now I decide that no prefix is required, then the auto text, and then, for instance, the period. We don't need manual confirmation anymore. Now let's try it out. If I enter auto for itself, nothing happens. And now I have to press the period. And now you see that I still have the two periods because the period is also in the phrase itself. There's a solution for this. Either you could remove the period from the phrase contents or you could select remove trailing delimiter. So if you execute the phrase, the triggering trailing delimiter will not be output. Now I have changed the phrase contents. I've created the phrase automobile, which is also triggered by the auto text auto with default trailing and leading delimiters. And now let's check the auto capitalization of the auto text. If you enter auto, the phrase will be expanded in low caps. However, if you start the auto text with capital letter, then Phrase Express will output the text phrase with a capital letter. And if you write at least two letters in caps, then the whole phrase will be output in capital letters. If you don't want this automatic, just select the option case sensitive auto text. And Phrase Express will only output the phrase if you use the correct capital or non-capital letter. Another option is that you can decide in which programs Phrase Express shall detect the auto text. You can define this for each separate phrase. To show you this feature, I open another application like Notepad. And now if you execute only in certain programs, you can select from the list where the auto text shall be recognized. I choose only in WordPad and not in Notepad. I enter auto in WordPad and it works. And I enter auto in Notepad and it doesn't work. And this is very funny. So you can create a new phrase or let's duplicate this phrase. Or I change the phrase here. And now the same auto text shall work in Notepad only. And what we have here now is uh, if you enter auto in Notepad, then it will be expanded to automobile parts. And if you enter the same auto text in WordPad, it will be expanded to automobile. Let's try it out. I type in auto in Notepad and it will be that. And I type auto in WordPad and it will be expanded to this phrase. Now we come to a very powerful option, which is incremental auto text. I have created three phrases, all with the postfix incremental, as you can see here. 
And the special part is that the phrase content and the auto text is the same. This is not a requirement, but in this example, it's easier to show. So we have the auto text automobile parts, auto saloon, and automatic suggestion, all with the postfix incremental. The incremental trailing delimiter means that you don't have to type in the whole auto text, but just the beginning. And Phrase Express will start suggesting the phrases which match to the auto text. And as you continue to type, Phrase Express will narrow down the results. So if I type in auto S, there is only auto saloon remaining. Or if I continue with automobile or with auto M, then there are two possibilities. And if I continue to type, there's only one choice left. And so you can narrow down to the desired entry. And this is very powerful options. Then you can select the desired phrase by either the arrow keys or with the mouse.